who will share a little about their personal journeys. Please welcome Alexander Osborne, Morehouse Class of 2028, and Miles Sims, Morehouse Class of 2020. <laughs> Good evening, good evening. Good evening. It'll be a little difficult following the words of Dr. Underwood, but my name is Alexander Xavier Levi Osborne. I am a sophomore chemistry scholar from Houston, Texas. My childhood was spent in Cypress, Texas, where I was raised among the older siblings of my father, enriching me with much wisdom and knowledge. I developed skills of being a diligent hard worker coming up. I'm blessed to have my parents and two siblings who remain my cornerstone. At the age of seven, I was diagnosed with spinal cord cancer and I underwent surgery and radiation. And I would not have been able to make it through the journey of cancer without the support of my family. These experiences formulated a strong sense of determination and resilience within me. And these qualities have aided in my transition to become a man of Morehouse. This past summer, I had the pleasure of participating in the Thomas J. Blocker Pre-Health Science Program. And at first, I was a tad skeptical about whether to spend my summer with my high school friends or to come to Morehouse and take many different classes. However, that negative perspective on such an opportunity offered by Thomas J. Blocker Society changed in an instant. As soon as the program started, everybody started to click and I quickly realized that some of my closest friends would come from this program. Additionally, we had some amazing residential advisors with whom I formed invaluable relationships. I got the chance to make connections with some of the professors in the program who I still go to see and talk to whenever I have some free time. And when it comes to the classes and the content of the program, I am beyond grateful for how it impacted me as a student as well as a person. As a student, the classes were instrumental in helping, my, helping strengthen me and my study habits and form new ones, especially with the help of the critical thinking and philosophy class with Dr. Davis. He encouraged me to take a different approach to studying, which has improved my class preparation tenfold. Also, Dr. Davis's philosophy class, as well as Dr. Edwards' English class, made me start thinking about the world with a new, new perspective. My love for the humanities broadened, especially because I had the opportunity to write papers about topics I was extremely passionate about. Taking five classes, four days a week, back to back, provided me a welcome challenge. And because of the demands of the program, I was empowered to do my best. As a result, I received various awards for all the classes we took in the program. One of the most enjoyable memories were the group trips that we took on the weekends, and my favorite trip was to Augusta University's Medical College and Dental College. The Dental College tour was the most interesting for me and influential to others. And the various alum who spoke with us each Thursday evening were powerful inspirations to keep pushing towards our goals. The alumni were very insightful in what we should expect to see in our journey to and throughout medical school. And they were also friendly and willing to lend a helping hand or connect us with people that can help us. And that is beyond comforting. Recently, I contacted Sydney Murray about information regarding Morehouse School of Medicine's program. And he responded to me in no time, detailing the impact that the program had on him. And instances like that, with the alumni make it so much easier for me to put myself in the positions to succeed. There is so much more that I could go on and say about the Thomas J. Blocker Society, and I am beyond grateful for the program and everything I received from it. And this program was worth every minute. I'm not sure I can think, I, I can thank everybody, but I will anyway. I want to thank Mr. Samerson for making sure we took advantage of the opportunity that was given to us.
I want to thank Miss Esther for making sure everything was all right. She was our mother during the program. I want to thank I want to thank Brittany for the tons of tons of work she does in the background that nobody sees, and the professors for taking the time to teach us and not minimizing it because we weren't getting credit for the class we were taking. I want to thank the RAs for taking care of us and making sure we had a good time while we were there, and especially to the alumni that helped fund the program because without them, my experience would not have been possible. And thank you.